never seen so many people all at once. Churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described it. Now, to find Henry Green and form there's a plan of attack against the Templars. Who's Mr. Green again? Assassin watching over London. Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? <laughs> Oi, watch it. Beg pardon, sir. Oi! Come back here, you filthy dipper! <laughs> Since we were two. Marked on father's map. Two assassins, equal in height, one female, one male, two decades old, and those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the council desires news. London must be free to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the council saw reason and said you could aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starry sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries, his reach extends all across London. What's the use of this again? Furs, fear. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders and a one name. That's it, Fee. We can rally them to our side. Oh, but the way that you rallied those car players at the airport tapping into the river. Oh, that was different than being at Whiston. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. You're never good at chess either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? This is the highest point in White Temple. what Starrick has done to the city. Whitechapel is riddled with crime. 
reptile labor, despite regulations. A gang known as the Blighters overruns the streets, and Templars manipulating behind the scenes. As in all the other virus, we need to return this city to the people who built it in the first place. We will free London from Stark. You have my word. I my works. That's right. Your passion is inspiring. Come. Let us return to my shop and I can bring you up to date on the rest. It's after some of my more arcane research into one of the precursor artifacts. The piece of it. So tell me about these blighters. It's sort of an army. Staric gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain a force, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be serious. Evie. They're ready to fight and oppose the blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the rooks. No one looks where they're going. Yes, I've noticed that. Bloody drood. I'll never finish it at this rate. Only Providence knows where those words are headed now. Well, I must get to work replacing them. Should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two, you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot. Ta-ta! What an odd man. That Mr. Fry was Charles Dickens knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. <laughs> 